Hello, Al. Hi, Joey. I'm Joey. This is Al, and we are going to be playing the Battle of the Nile. Mm -hmm. um, today you're playing as Rome. Yep. But your previous experience is as Egypt. Yeah, so we uh, we showed uh, the Battle of the Nile off at uh, E3. You may have seen some of that online. Um, we showed the uh, the battle from the Egyptian perspective, so defending from the Roman attack. Now that was a lot uh, a lot simpler um, uh, challenge of, uh, of, for the battle because that's kind of designed for newcomers. Whereas the Rome the Rome version, where you're slogging up the hill and you've got to take the Egyptian position, is much much tougher. So tactical disadvantage, mm -hmm. um, like positioning and. Yep. Oh, numbers. Yes, are... sheer numbers. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of outgunned, outnumbered, um, and my navy, especially, is 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 particularly prone to their navy. So we're we're, we're quite outnumbered in the water as well. So I'll get the battle started. Um, you know, you have to win this game, and do you know why? Why? Last week at Rezd was my first ever demo, mm -hmm. and uh, I won, but a costly victory. Right. But I okay. still won. So the challenge is on. Okay. If you can beat my costly victory. All right. I'll do my best. No promises, though. No promises. <laughs> okay. So uh, this is the intro and we've got the, the hill where the Egyptian troops are and uh, the platform where some of the ballistas are. Mm -hmm. Yep, so we've got ballistas up here. War elephants. Oof. Ouch. Um, you know, what, what Egypt will probably do is, is do its best to hold most of its forces there and defend the hill. While and this is your fleet? Yes, this is my fleet here. Um, see, most of that front line of ships are quadrings, they're quite small. Um, now what I'm going to do is use those uh, not in combat at all. I'm just going to, because they're effectively troop ships. I mean, I could go board the enemy fleet, but I'm just going to deny that. I'm going to send my troops directly onto the land to support my land forces because we're kind of outnumbered here. So, so straight is reinforcements. Yep. Exactly, exactly. See, with this, you can't. Um, the, it's set up already, so the game has started, and there's no option for you to kind of move your uh, units around to deploy them as as they normally would be. Why is that? No, that's right. So, um, so normally in you know any campaign map generated uh, battle, you you would have that option, but um, in the Battle of Nile is is one of the historical battles. So, right. Um, so in this, you know, it's a set challenge, effectively. You know. Um, so we, you've just you've just got to make the best of your kind of initial position. So, um, so what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm as you see I've sent my uh, my troop ships off to land, uh, land the troops, and then my my two ballista big rooms here. Um, I'm going to send these guys up to into the jaws of doom. Effectively, they're going to be my sacrificial lambs, um, but they're going to soak up um, a lot of attention of the of the fleet there. So I. You know, so I can get my troops off unhindered. So, That's you know, not very nice. They're all piling off quite nicely. No, I know, but you know, to, mo to move mountains, you must make sacrifices. So I'm afraid it's those guys. Says every good general. Exactly. I'm cold. I'm the cold-blooded leader. And let's see if I, I'm actually any good at it. Right. Um, so what I'm doing is setting up unit groups for my um, for my uh, infantry and cavalry and mounted troops here. So um, what I want to do actually is send my skirmishers forward to just do a bit of scouting. I'm going to send my other unit of um, javelin skirmishers over here to meet up with uh, my disembarked legionaries because I want these guys to head on up the hill over here. So there's a unit of ballista here, which are currently trained on my ships, but they'll soon turn to my army. So as you can see, those ships aren't going to last long. No. Not, not against those no. forces. So, sorry boys. <laughs> so you're so sneaking up the side the through the trees. That's right, yeah. Oh, and look, we've got a skirmish already. So we've got on my javelin then, and it looks like some camel archers there I'm playing around in the trees. They're trying to draw me out, so I'm going to send my javelins over there so they shouldn't withdraw because my troops aren't close enough. Um, but in the meantime, let's get the, my Evercarty and my mounted forces on the move. So, how are we doing over here? All right, everybody's kind of meeting up nicely. Excellent. Let's get these motoring in some kind of reasonable formation. So, so what's your tactical plan, considering you are at a massive loss yeah, in many so, ways? So, quite a disadvantage, as you can see from here. You know, there's just there's there's a lot more Egyptian stuff, and they've got a hill, which is really hard to climb up and slows me down. So and easy to shoot from. And easy to shoot from, indeed. So, it looks like my javelin will chase the guys off. So, yeah, my plan is effectively to use my Evercarty, which are really, really tough on those. I'm just line them up here on the hill. Um, and I'm going to kind of use those as... as, as I'm going to bring my general up behind as well. Um, use those as, as my main force, which will attract some fire, of course, but I think, you know, it's important. I mean, they're tough. They'll stick around. They've got really high morale. 
um, and this will give my flanking force up here, which I send up the left up this way, um, a chance to go and get involved and, and, and have a bit of fun. Um, but at the moment it looks like there's something coming up the tree, so I'm just going to meet it. Hey! And it's Oh, it's elephants. elephant time. So what I'm gonna do what, what is the best way to deal with this? So send everyone in, get your legionaries throwing their pelons in to begin with, and then my javelin will, will sit at the back here, constantly popping away at the elephants. With a bit of luck we'll take them out. But yes, look, it looks like we're turning already. Um, oh! Oh! Ouch! Okay, so we've been shot at from the sea now as well. This is uh, this is not, not, not a good day right now. No, so they have taken your naval fleeing up. seriously. Yes. Okay, it looks like we scared the elephants off. That's really that's really nice. Let's get my guys motoring. Chase them down. Let's do that. Get those moving there. And then come up. Right. Ooh. Okay. So get the party on the move. So you have a lot of unpredictable units in, in this battle. We've got, I mean, the elephants who can not only destroy you, but themselves. Yeah. So yeah, they, they tend to, um, they've got this kind of, well, we call it an internal rage meter effectively, but it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a kind of attribute that we don't, you know, directly show to the player, but it's, um, um, as, as elephants fight and they get struck particularly by javelins and arrows, um, uh, by ranged units, they get angrier and angrier, and then they snap and they run amok, and then their their owner cannot control them anymore. So they tend to they tend to run wild and just trample over all sorts of stuff until until they're put out of their misery effectively. <laughs> so right, okay, we've got a clear line to the guns now, which is great news. So um, all these guys I wish they'd never been born. Oh, look how you close you got! Yeah, I'll practically see them cry. Oh, yeah, the, the the detail up close, I mean, it's just tremendous. You know, under fire, look, these guys are raising the shields, they're approaching in a kind of realistic fashion. Javelin men, obviously, much, much lighter, you know, so they run faster. And a gentle jog up that hill. Exactly. And then they're just going to let loose with their javelins. So, right, we're making a good advance here. Oh, someone's letting some burning balls Ooh. off. Oh, oh, oh no. man. Oh. That was a really good shot on the, on the AI's bar. Oh, 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 that one stopped. Oh. oh, oh, he just got a few. It hit that little divot just there. Right. That was really lucky, considering the damage. Yeah, absolutely. Could have been. Uh, that could have been really bad. Right. Unfortunately, I'm just going to have to take this one in the face. I think. Ah, no, look. Right. Oh, oh, that is too late. Too late for those horses. Oh. But it did miss the all of the elephants. It did, which is absolutely crucial to my plan here. Those elephants have a job to do. Right, I'm going to start countering with these. Uh -huh. right, it looks like the crews from the... Uh, from the these are the guys that set the uh, burning balls off, so... Let's see how they like. How the, are they uh, as fighters? Not very good. Excellent. <laughs> I mean, they're reasonable swordsmen, they're average swordsmen, but, you know, against three units of every party, hey, anyone's going to break. See, that was something that was brought up on the forums, is that the combat speed is, it seems uh, particularly fast. Yeah, it's, it's, it's reasonably fast in this historical battle. I mean, it's actually it's a little slower in the main game. It's a little more considered, whereas this is... Oh, no, he's caught my elephants with his chariot. Oh. It's not, not good. Actually, it's, the it's elephants have out. done pretty well. And it, is that you increasing in rank? Yep. Congratulations. Got a little rank up there. Are we all handling this mess in the middle? Oh, no. So let's let those guys break and let's try and reform him a bit. Okay, we now have African elephants charging around the place having a whale of time. Javelins need to be on those. Right. Oh, the elephants are turning around. Oh, wait. They're coming back, they're coming back. Oh no. Fire, fire. Another increase in rank. I really like that, that now you can, you can kind of individually increase your rank within the game. Yeah. What have we got over here? Are those elephants coming? No, no, I think it's just good. Okay, good. Right, how are we doing <gasps> here? Oh, Creeping wow. up the side! Yeah, now this has worked out beautifully, look. So my guy's here, and now I have a clear shot of the ballistas. And then I'm going to hold them here, while the rest of my army, hopefully, can start taking out... Draws them out. Soak up, soak up the um, the main forces of the Egyptian army. So you can sneak Why? into the capture point. Exactly. Oh. Uh, sneak into the capture point. How am I elephants doing? Have I still got some left? I do still have some left. Am 
might. I know this is not good tactical. Ah, oh, way. Okay. Yeah. Great. Great. Okay. Excellent. Now. now Heavy we, fire now being taken. Ready. Yeah. Look at look at all those fire arrows going. In. That's not good. Okay. A little unit there looks like it. Scared of some of my guys. I mean, right. as far as combat speed looks, it's okay. it's fairly normal. But I think there's within this game particularly, there's a lot of fast moving. Exactly. Units. Yeah. 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 Exactly. So, you know, with elephants, chariots, camels, camels, horses. yeah, camels, horses. What are those ones? Yeah. Archers. Oh, archers, elephants. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. I think we've got some luxury of time here. So, get this guy's a bit more. I mean, elephants are very strong, but they seem to be a very slow moving unit as well. So yeah. they're kind of your uh, heavy hitters. Exactly. Um, oh. As you can see, I mean, they're not killing all these guys; they're disrupting them quite a lot. So um, now here's the fun bit. Now I've managed to get my elephants in. You're just, I can just disrupt what? Look at that. Their army and their pikemen simply aren't prepared. They're not close. Oh, he's trying to run his guns away. <laughs> That's true. Right. So, right. He's Try not to engage with that side because he knows I've got some units here. So, however, I think we're ready. You are doing excellently. I'm ready to just engage. So, how am I guys doing over here? What's going on over here? My cav against what are they? The swordsman. Right? The best infantry. Cav should do okay, but yeah, I can't say he's going to do so this is a pretty challenging uh, game considering the numbers and the positioning, but there was someone who uh, successfully at res at the weekend, mm -hmm. played Rome, yeah. annihilated the Egyptian forces, yeah. and then destroyed the reinforcements, yeah. which I mean, there are quite a few reinforcements as well. Exactly, yeah, there's, Ca there's a can whole, we there's see a whole them other at the army, side? there's a whole other army reinforcing. Ooh. It looks like it looks like they've had it. <gasps> had it. Yeah, I've got them. That capture point is turning, turning from red, and it will go from red, white, and then yellow if you successfully maintain that point. Exactly. So you see this flag's dropping here, and then I'll switch to a Roman flag in a second. Um, and then we've just got to raise the flag up, and then it becomes ours. There we are. You know what? I think you're going to beat my costly victory. I think I, I, think I might do. I think I'm doing pretty well here. I've got most of my units there. I've lost, by the looks of it, a unit of javelin and two units of cavalry. So, actually, we're looking pretty good. And my elephants still haven't run a mock. Yes. I have control of my elephants still, which is kind of astounding at this part in any battle, to be honest. <laughs> but could you beat Hirotaka Tachiki? Who, who. Oh, he was the guy who raised the, two Yeah, he was reinforcing armies. Well, I, you know what? I don't think so. Oh, <laughs> not even a challenge accepted. Yeah, the guy's a master. He is. So, it really uh, was. So shout out to um, to the man. He's um, a remarkable type of war player. Yeah, it was really impressive. Nearly there. Nearly. Okay, it's in the bag. Yeah, it's in the bag. So I think this is wind down. But uh, that was impressive stuff. Um, and this has been the Battle of the Nile as Rome. We'll be doing more Let's Play videos in the future. So we will see you soon. All right. Later. We who are seen as gods have the farthest to fall. For have we not built the impossible? And for what? To share my bed with a Roman. Our alliance was born of necessity, not love. To rule as Isis, I would suckle the wolf. They must be But no punished. matter how much I fed the beast, it could not be sated. I betrayed my lover, brought ruin on my brother, murdered my sister. Any mother would have done the same. And still they will hunt you down, my son. The last of the Pharaoh.